But one of the things that YouTube said would happen once COPPA was in effect was that channels that are made for kids would be losing a lot of their features, such as comments, live stream chat, turning on notifications when subscribing to a channel made for kids, among other things like that. But it's January 4th today and the update was on January 1st, but a lot of kids channels as I'll show right now still have all those features. They still have the comments, this is a video from Coco Melon, which by the way I've never heard of this channel before until I just saw it. 69 million subscribers, holy crap man. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, this video still has all the comments, and it was uploaded two days after COP went into effect. If I was to subscribe right now, it would allow me to turn on notifications. Right now, if I was to do that, boom, notifications are on. But I thought they were supposed to be gone, that's a little bit weird. By the way guys, before I go on, I'm not trying to say I'm upset that these features are still here. It's far from it, I don't think the kids channel should be losing features like this. But, it's just weird that these features are still available even though YouTube said they wouldn't be after January 1st. Here's a direct quote from Lauren, who is a YouTube representative. Here for yourself. Starting in January, if you mark a specific video as made for kids, features like comments, personalized advertising, info cards, end screens, and more won't be available on individual videos. If your entire channel is set as made for kids, your videos won't have any of those features. Your channel also won't have stories, the community tab, the notification bell, and your viewers won't be able to save to watch later or save to playlist. Keep in mind that these restrictions are to follow the law. The only way this would make sense is if these channels are not set for kids. But they obviously should be, right? They're obviously kids' channels. And if they aren't, they are very clearly mislabeling the audience of their videos. So with that in mind, should a channel like Coco Melon not be fined $42,000 a video? As I've already said in other videos, the amount you're fined is based on how much money your video made. But Coco Melon gets millions of views on their videos, sometimes hundreds of millions of views per video. They should definitely be getting hit with a lot of $42,000 fines, right? Just gotta say this again, I'm not saying I want this to happen to this channel, I'm just confused on how the copper rules are gonna work. Here's another obvious kids channel right here, I can subscribe with notifications on, the comments are all still available. Here's a live stream that's going on right now, and the live stream chat that they said would be disabled is still enabled. So I'm just really confused on what's going on, like are they gonna be taking like a few months for things to be changing? But they already told us that starting January 1st, if we don't follow these rules, we're going to be fined and all that stuff, and we're going to have these features removed. It's weird, we're four days into this update, but I haven't seen the effects of it affect anyone yet. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments. Have you guys seen COPPA affect anyone so far? Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. See ya.